Hello everybody, it is Mr. Atstack again, bringing you a Tom Slav review for TF2. This is one of my favorite miniguns to use, actually, Actually, since it's not really a minigun, it's just kind of a single-barreled, I guess, turret with a lot of uh, bullets in it. <laughs> um, I like it because it has no spin-up time, meaning if you get caught off guard, you can sometimes get a few more shells into them or even kill them. Like if a scout comes up behind you, tries to, you know, uh, scatter gun your force of nature, whatever they do. You can turn around and get him with a tom solve. It spreads, uh, either it spreads reduced sometimes. You can't really kill anything far range like with a minigun, meaning that the spread is not as much. So if there's a huge group of enemies, you only hit a few of them and not all of them. See, I just got a spy there with it. I just focused my shots on him and it kind of put all the bullets that went in into it. Oh, and <laughs> here I go chasing this guy. There's like a creepy corridor with a, one of our dead guys in it. I don't find him, I think he runs back to their side, which is at the middle, kind of where the car goes and, and all this. Oh, and I forgot to say, this is CP Granary. Um, another attack and defend map, but both of you are attacking, both are defending. Just trying to capture all the points, pretty much. Here, I'm just, um, I got medics on our team, so we're doing pretty well, but this, uh, opposite team's very good as well. Like, see, I just get hit by a sentry. God knows how they put it up there, probably wrangled up there. Which I've seen it. Um, I, oh yeah, I forgot to say. Um, sorry, I did not put a video out yesterday. I bought Metal Gear Solid 4, which is kind of one of my childhood games. I used to play tons, and I just needed to play the story again. So you know, nostalgia. I had to play it. <laughs> um, so I've been playing PS3 a lot. So if this gameplay is a bit rusty, that's probably why. I mean, other than Pa, I don't play a lot of TF2 or any other PC games. And when I record them, I find I found when I started recording games, I don't play TF2 as much, which I guess I can be a good thing and a bad thing. I'm getting a defense set up with this uh, engineer with the Texas 10 gallon, move in right here. But I'm um, I'm thinking primarily of putting out my videos one for the weekend and every other day on the week. But back to the Tom Slaw, like getting off topic. Shouldn't be doing that. I'm trying to get these guys here. I keep getting this one scout that you see to the left. Uh, I was hitting people with a little cleaver and uh, bonking them. So you might see me get bonked once or twice in this video. But the pyro is hitting us with flares. Since they're taking advantage of the heavy's mobility. And I run, just as a minigun, I, uh, it does not, ca uh, does not change the issue of how you run out of ammo so quick. So you'll see me running back here. I'll get killed. If I had, if I had a mini, if I had uh, some minigun ammo, I would have probably got them. But they pop an uber and I'm just jumping back. Get crit sprayed into the ground, try to run for the dispenser. You know, Pudis and all that, couldn't get it. So I go here, just waiting to respawn. Sorry if I don't talk a lot when uh, I'm walking to the to or during the respawn, because I mean, as heavy, it's just a long way to walk. I'm just gonna respawn. Take him forever. And there we go. But I do prefer this gun over a lot of things like the Brass Beast. Uh, and Natasha, which Natasha is an achievement item, which kind of shows it's not good. I mean, it slows down people, so it probably slow down a scout to, like, I don't know, medic? If he's getting shot by it, but if he's getting shot by it, he's gonna get killed by it. I mean, I don't see how it works on an opposite heavy. He's already w spinning up his minigun, it wouldn't do much damage. Tom Slav overall is really good for an ambush, because it just makes that little click noise. Then goes off, but look at this kill. Bam. Sleeping with the traffic cone. Not the fish. I'm moving here. I know uh, you'll see me give away my Festus sandwich a lot here. Because I don't need it because we have uh, quick fix medics. So I'll give it to like another heavy or something like that. But we're pr I think the outcome of this, if I kept playing to that round ended, I think we would have probably got our asses handed to us. Or it would have ended in a stalemate sudden death and I would probably get killed by a spy. Because the heavy's not good in sudden death because there are no health packs. I don't know, we have medics, but the thing is, they have engineers and pyros. Ugh, the horror. Anyways, still trying to get them. I don't get a lot of kills in this video. It's mostly just a, trying to offensive here. Just break their sentries in general. Not much else to it. I run out of ammo again, which is terrible. I'm, trying, I'm just running back again. I should have really changed my gloves, but I didn't. But I get a spy kill here. Here it comes. Bam. I didn't even show up. I think I just hit him like last. But anyways, that's really just the end of my review. 
I, I mean, I like the minigun overall. It's a nice one. It goes in a set with a, a hat, another shotgun, and then kind of like spiked brass fists. Anyways, guys, be sure to rate, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time.